This used to be the Pickwick restaurant, but the Pickwick sign now wears a shroud. Since September, it has been known as the Lester Maddox restaurant, a wholly new corporation on paper, but to Maddox's patrons, it is the same place. Very little has changed. The Pickwick trademarks are still very much in evidence. Gillet fried chicken remains the specialty of the house. The tables in front offer free segregationist literature. And for those who are superstitious, well, there is a wishing well where one can wish for segregation. Lester Maddox is still greeting many of the same customers that he has known for years. His business appears to the observer to be booming, but he says that it has not quite returned to where it once was in the Pickwick days. My operation is some 15 or 20 percent below what it would be normally at this time because of the agitation and and the confusion created by the agitators. If we can be left alone, I think that we can get into a position of operating in the black and be a successful part of the American free enterprise system. Maddox says that the Civil Rights Act, while not allowing him to refuse service to anyone because of race, creed, or color, does not require him to serve integrationists, black or white. Asked if a Negro trying to get service would qualify as an integrationist, Maddox said yes. A segregationist Negro would not want to eat here. Since the Supreme Court ruling, however, no Negro has sought to test Maddox's new restaurant, and there seems to be very little likelihood that they will, according to Atlanta civil rights lawyer Donald Hollowell. I think the, there was international publicity given to the fact that there are state actions uh, and federal actions pending against Mr. Maddox. and. Uh, uh, now that uh, many Negroes know that this exists, why well, I believe they are reasonably satisfied to let that matter rest. Uh, and I think also that it is important to mention that there has been this wide acceptance by the other uh, entrepreneurs in this area. Uh, therefore, Mr. Maddox's place does not seem to be of great importance, and the people are willing to let the courts take care of it. Maddox clings to the hope that he'll continue being ignored by the city's Negro community and that his way of doing business will remain untouched by the federal courts. This is Fred Briggs in Atlanta.